Saturday matinee time, baby. Hey, gang, hope you're all doing well. So the Yankees uh, had a great 3 nothing victory over the Detroit Tigers uh, last night in Detroit. What a great way to open up the season. I mean, the, the series. Um, Garrett Cole was Garrett Cole. First, his first shutout performance this year, even though it wasn't going to play a game. He had a first uh, shutout performance, and then handed it over to the bullpen, which was stellar as well. Weaver, Clay Holmes was sharp, as, and that's a good thing. Aaron Judge, his 44th home run, uh, which is a great thing to see. And some of the other bats are kind of slowly finding their way, right? And this is one of the reasons why I titled this the way that it is. Yankee must play the best player in each position no matter who it is, right? I have this afternoon's lineup for you against the, the Detroit Tigers as well. I'll get it to you in a second. But uh, case in point, Austin Wells. You know, it took an injury to Jose Trevino for Austin Wells to get his real shot here. Right. And he's fully embraced it. And he's taken the reins, in my opinion. And, and Aaron Boone also echoed the sentiment that he's des he deserves the starting position there as a catcher. And Jose Trevino is going to be his backup. I know Trevino was in there last night, frustrated for some fans. But Garrett Cole has always had a good chemistry with Jose Trevino. So I'm not surprised Trevino was in there. But Wells is back in the lineup today. Okay. And I can understand the argument of. You know, why the Yankees would play a veteran over a young kid. I get it. Okay. Um, they're very, very loyal to their players, particularly the veterans. But in the situation where if you have a kid who's better than the veteran, then please play the kid. Okay. And we're seeing this in a couple different positions this year. If Ben Rice turns out to be a better option than Anthony Rizzo, please pay Ben Rice. If Oswaldo Cabrera is still continuing to be a better option than DJ LeMahieu, please play Oswaldo Cabrera, okay? Whether it's John Bird, whoever, no matter who it is, okay? Please play the best player at each position. Now, Jazz Chisholm's unfortunate injury has created some opportunities for guys like Oswald Peraza. You know, he went deep last night too in his first game back, so that was a great way to really, really embrace getting called up, and I hope he continues to do that. So, and the Yankees have some versatility here. They have some options now. And when John Birdie comes back, and hopefully when Jazz Chisholm comes back, they'll be in a better position too. Okay, and they'll have some tough decisions to make at that point. But, you know, this is why I ask you to subscribe to this channel too and hit the notifications as well. Because for those that don't know me, I tell it both ways. I give you the good and the bad, okay? And to me, I feel it's a sense of duty and obligation to share the information with you, whether it's big or medium or small. I want you to know what it is. If I knew some information, didn't share it with you, it would be a disservice to you. That's the way I look at this. Okay? No matter what the news is. I know people give me a hard time about some of the news not being sexy news. It doesn't have to be sexy. Okay? When it's Yankee news, I want to get it to you. Okay, and that, that's the bottom line. I said this. I, as it pertains to this channel, I'm not the main character. You are. This channel's about you. Okay, it's you folks that make it better. I'm here to serve and get you the information. Okay, and that's why I say bring your comments, bring your feedback, and let's base our opinions off of all the information that we can have an elevated conversation. We can have a good back and forth in a debate. Okay, rather than it being facts on one side and talking points from another channel on the other side. This is the reason why I get so many trolls from certain channels. Okay, so I don't follow the talking points. And I'm not going to follow the talking points. You deserve better than that. Okay, so I wanted to point that out. Okay, and again, these are, these are some examples that are, to me, are obvious examples. I'm sure a lot of fans see these obvious examples too. Right. And by the way, I thank you so much for, for subscribing to the channel. When you hit the notifications as well, um, that makes sure that you know when I go live and when news comes out, you be the front of the line and your support means the world. Now, with that said, here's today's lineup. It's afternoon. Glaber Torres is back in there. He's leading off the game. Second base. Juan Soto's batting second in right field. Aaron Judge batting third in center field. Austin Wells is back in there where he belongs at the dish and a cleanup spot. Batting in between Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton, who's DHing in the fifth spot. Alex Verdugo is playing sixth, batting sixth in left field. Anthony Volpe is 
batting seventh at shortstop. Ben Rice batting eighth in first base. Oswaldo Cabrera batting ninth. Look at that youth on the bottom of the lineup. Seven, eight, nine. Right? All youth. Kids. Okay? And then on the mound, on the hill, tone slab is Carlos Rodon. Okay? And looking at this lineup, again, Volpe made an area so that he had frustrated a lot of people. The Yankees have stuck by him. And I think it's pretty clear that he's their short, their, their shortstop. And they're going to ride with him no matter what. That's the loyalty component I talk about. Same thing with Ben Rice, okay? He's a young kid. He's a developmental player still. He's going to go through some growing pains too, as he has over the last month or so. Well, he's seen flashes of his potential. Now, whoever's the better option at first base, let that be. You know, when Anthony Rizzo comes back, my guess is he'll probably get a couple opportunities to see whether he's going to be the better option. But if he doesn't turn out to be the better option, there's no need to, you know, force the situation, okay? Let's just put the better player on the position, or no matter what the position is, to put this team in the best, the best spot to win and make a deep playoff run. Okay. And like you know, Alex Verdugo, he's a veteran player now, young veteran player, but a veteran player. Okay. You know, it's pretty much understood uh, by most people that he's probably going to be replaced by Jason Dominguez after this year. Okay. I know a lot of fans want Dominguez to come up now, but they're not going to mess with his rookie status. Okay. This is pretty obvious. Okay. And <clears throat> Jason Dominguez has 98 at bats that he could play with this year. So my guess is that being a September call up, he'll get the op every opportunity to have as many bats as possible and not exceed the 130, which will automatically trigger his rookie campaign, his rookie status. What does that mean? That becomes his first pre arb year. Now, they're going to use a one-month sample size for his first pre year? No, they're not going to do that. Okay, He alone is not enough to put the team over the top. Neither is Spencer Jones. Neither is whoever else. Okay, This, this is a multiplayer thing that the Yankees need to have ironed out here. Okay, And slowly but surely, they're kind of finding their way again. Okay? It may not be flashy. It doesn't need to be flashy. But you can see also... Teams like the Orioles and the Dodgers and the Phillies, I've said it repeatedly over the last couple of weeks or so, they're also you know, enduring that same or undergoing that same type of adversity and slumps uh, period that the Yankees have gone through. Okay, They're all doing it. The top teams do this. It happens to them. And that's okay. It's part of a 162-game grind. It's different than a 17-game football season, different than an 82-game basketball season. The 162 games is a long grind. Okay, And this is a marathon. Okay, before it's a sprint. Let it be a sprint at the end of the season, in October. But until then, it's a marathon. Okay, they have to put themselves in a position to be at, you know, kicking for the finish line at in the last straightaway. How they do that? They've got to be smart with how they run their lineups. They've got to be smart with how they, you know, bring players back from an injury. Okay, they've got, to, and I think they again, they have to yet, they have to let the best players play at each position, no matter what the loyalties are. Two veteran players, no matter what they are. Okay. And, but again, this is just my take. I'm just a, you know, a, a lowly, humble Yankee fan. Okay. Who happens to love his team, that happens to be a content creator, who wants to share as much information with all of you as possible so that you can be part of the discussion, you can join the party, and you can contribute back to the channel, which you always do. And I thank you for it. Okay. So give me your thoughts on that. Okay. Load up the comments. Okay. Hopefully I'll be live after the game today so we can hopefully celebrate another win, which would automatically make another series win too. So um, the, the Yankees can rack up some series wins. I mean, they've got the Cleveland Guardians who are going to be sneaky good. They're coming up as soon. Uh, they've got some other teams that they can capitalize on as well. So hopefully the more series they win, they put themselves in a position to get closer to that projection of 95 wins, which I, I predict them at 95 wins in the beginning of the season. So I think they can still win between 95 and 100. Um, but there's no team right now projected to win 100 games. Not one. The Yankees have 73 wins. So they're nine away from tying last year's. And I think they're going to far exceed that. But them staying healthy, them doing the right things, them staying focused, the pitching coming together, particularly in the bullpen, as well as the offense coming together, particularly in the bottom part of it, all need to happen in order for the Yankees to put themselves in a spot to make a deep run in the postseason which we all want them to do, right? So that's the lineup. That's my take on this particular topic. Okay, I'd love to know what your feedback is. So let's let's get into the discussion here. Load it up.
the comments, okay? I want to know what you're thinking. Talk to you later. Go Yankees.